while the country hails the start of the vaccine trials in South Africa, the virus has already claimed more than 2,000 lives. The world needs a solution. But these trials here today are a testament of the commitment. A landmark moment for the continent at large as COVID-19 vaccine clinical trials begins with a group of 2,000 participants who will receive either the vaccine or the placebo which will help the researchers to understand these participants' response to the vaccine. The vaccine called OX1 COVID-19 vaccine VIDA trials aims to find a vaccine that will prevent infection by SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. What we've been able to calculate is that for every one person that's infected, in the absence of anyone else being immune against the virus, uh, that person will infect about two to three other people. And those two to three other people will go on to infect another two to three other people. And over 15 cycles, that number goes almost into the thousands. Right, and that's the reason why we're sitting right now with close to 5 million people have been infected. Meanwhile, Professor Madi says COVID-19 cases in Africa will reach a peak soon and these trials are important at this age, urging individuals to be disciplined to flatten the curve. We are as likely to be affected as the rest, as the rest of the world. In fact, at the end of, end of the day, unfortunately, many African countries are going to be affected even more than uh, Northern Hemisphere countries. Uh, the number of people that are going to die in Africa is probably going to exceed the number of people that are going to die in Europe or the number of people that are going to die in America. The only challenge, the challenge we face right now, and the reason we think that COVID-19 is not an important problem in Africa is because simply we don't do enough testing. We don't have the resources to do enough testing, and so we're completely underestimating the number of people that's actually infected in Africa and the number of people that are dying of COVID-19 in Africa. One of the participants says this sacrifice is meant to save lives. I'm willing, I'm willing actually, if, if it means for the greater, if it means for that a whole lot of people. I benefit from it. Uh, I think my life is just a small fraction of what these medical profession are trying to do for us. Karen Toshines, a pharmacist at the Baragwanath Hospital, who is also assisting in the trials, tells us how the vaccine is stored. It is prepared in Italy and it is frozen to minus 80 degrees Celsius. It's shipped to us in South Africa and we store the vaccine at uh, minus 80 degrees in our freezer. Once we're ready to vaccinate, we take the vaccine out of the freezer. And in South Africa, at least 100,000 people have already been diagnosed with COVID-19 and more than 2,000 have died from the virus since March. The vaccine being trialed is one of the 286 other candidates' vaccines currently being researched and tested globally. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the demand for a vaccine has been very high. But now the question is, is this the answer? or rather, a lasting solution. From Baragwanath Hospital in Soweto, Johannesburg, South Africa, Bongani Siziba, for ZBC News.